I'm Rose Riley. I played in the, the first international Scotland-England in 1972 and I scored one of the goals. In the 1970s, there was great challenges for women that wanted to play football because it was looked upon as a, not a, a ladies' game. I started playing football at a very early age, ever since I can imagine. I think I always had a ball at my feet or round about me. Challenges were everywhere, but I was the type of person, if I wanted to do something, there was no obstacles or hurdles, let's say. I didn't even jump over them or go around them, I just kicked them down because I, I thought, if we wanted to play football, why not? But it was very kind of male chauvinist world we were in it, because the football was seen upon as a man's game, and we were kind of intruding their, their space. I didn't actually have any help from my parents or family at the time, because I was also an athlete, and they were going down that road where there was a, a, a career for me in athletics, and there was no career on the horizon for football, so I didn't actually have any help but that didn't uh, deter me, it didn't stop me one bit. My dream was to play football, whether somebody liked it or not. The Ravenscraig Stadium is one of the most important stadiums I've played in because it was my first international against the, the old enemy, England. So it was Scotland, England, uh, it was a friendly match, but it never is friendly against England. How can it be? The day before the game, we had to come here from Glasgow City Centre to, to Ravens Creek Stadium in Greenock, and we didn't have a bus, so the bus broke down. So we hitched a lift on a furniture lorry. So we were sitting in couches, chairs, standard lamps, holding on to everything. Um, very professional uh, to get here. When I arrived this morning in Ravens Creek Stadium here in Greenock, where the first international was played, Scotland, England, uh, it was a, it's a kind of surreal moment. The stand was quite full of people. It was Baltic outside, icy field, the lot. The crowd, it was quite numerous, well, at least for ladies' games in the days. The fact that there was an actual stand there created more of an atmosphere, more noise, because we were used to be playing in public pitches where a man and his dog were going about watching us. It was quite impressive for a young girl that hadn't uh, actually played in front of a crowd before of this dimension. As soon as you, you pull on the, the Scotland shirt, you are an international footballer. You're playing for a, your country, so it doesn't get any better than that. You're fulfilling your dreams. So we went one nothing up with a close-range uh, shot from one of our players, uh, Mary Carr, and then I scored the second goal direct from a corner kick. Wow! doesn't get any better than that. So we thought we were on a roll against England, but they were stronger than us and they, they ended up 3-2 winners. It was a fantastic game, good advert for women's football. The comparison from when I started playing football and the, the ladies' football of, of now, there's, it's like night and day. First of all, there's been a great injection of money. I've got nothing but admiration for the girls of today. Um, I think it's absolutely fantastic that we've qualified for the World Cup. Perhaps the players of today don't even know my story or know what I went through. I was never ever very keen in publicising anything about my career. I was just happy to, to play the game. My advice to any 16, 17 year old person is uh, follow your dreams, don't let anybody get in your way, don't ever let anybody say, no, you can't do anything, because actually you can. Mm -hmm.